Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. Today we're gonna make some dry aged burgers. Gonna take some of this, uh, the trimmings from the dry aged top sirloin we did. We're gonna grind it up and make some decent burgers. I'll be right back. <music> All right, guys, this, this is not going to be a real long video. It's just going to be uh, me showing you how to grind up some of the uh, trimmings from that dry age top sirloin that I did on the video from the iCard above here. And we're going to grind some of this up. We're going to mix it with some of this leftover uh, brisket fat that I have from one of my brisket cooks. It's always good to save some of this. You never know when you're going to need it. And I got some uh, eye around which is pretty lean and usually kind of tough, but it's good to make ground, uh, ground beef out of. So we're gonna use some of that, mix these all together to get a nice 80-20 dry age kind of tasting burgers. I'm gonna take my trusty dusty meat grinder here and get them all grind up. The first thing we gotta do is cut these up into chunks. This is pretty much all cut up and ready to go, but I have to cut up some of the fat and some of this um, eye around in a nice decent sized chunk so we can run it through the grinder. All right, I'm gonna start on that and I'll be right back. All righty guys, I got my eye around here and I got my brisket fat. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting this up into chunks. Most of my um, dry age stuff is already cut pretty good. So I might cut it up just a little bit more. I'm not gonna bore you with showing you how all of this gets cut up, but I'm just gonna cut them into strips like this and then just kind of take them and just chunk it up good inch and a half size chunks i don't want anything bitter, bigger than that going through the meat grinder so just pretty much just like that just so that the uh, meat grinder doesn't have to work too hard to uh, grind this up into hamburger meat i'm going to leave any of this fat on that's uh, already on this eye around i'm not going to trim that off and I kind of, I'm going to eyeball it. You can actually weigh the meat out and try to determine the 80-20 split. But I'm going to kind of eyeball it when I do this. I'm going to cut this brisket fat up pretty much the same way. Just in uh, good um, inch and a half or so inch chunks and kind of mix it in to where I figure, figure is like, you know, 20%. So um, you can weigh it all out and be real... Um, exact if you want to just not the way I'm going to do it I'm going to go ahead and keep cutting this up we're going to toss it all together then I might trim up some of this but I'll be right back all right guys I got it all cut up here and I just kind of wanted to show you how it's looking I got about about a pound or so of the eye round and about a pound or so of the dry age top sirloin and maybe a quarter of a pound of the brisket fat because there was some still some good fat inside the dry aged um, top sirloin. So I uh, didn't really need to quite add as much of the brisket fat as I thought I was going to. So I just kind of want to show you proportion wise how it looks. It's about even 50-50 of the dry aged and the uh, fresh eye round. And then about a quarter or so, maybe a little bit less of the brisket fat. And I'm going to go ahead and toss those all in this bowl right here and get them all tossed up pretty even to um, get them all mixed together so that when we run them through the grinder that they're pretty uh, pretty much all the same get a nice mix I don't want to have one big chunk of dry aged and one big chunk of fresh I kind of want them to get all mixed together so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to go in here with both hands that are clean I just washed them and just kind of mix it all together really well so that it looks like a big mush of everything I don't want to just see one big clump of fat someplace and a big clump of red burger somewhere so we're gonna do that get them all mixed together and then we're gonna run it through the grinder it's that simple that's it all right, guys, it looks like this is about good. Kind of show you how that looks. Just so you can see what a good mix that is. 
it's kind of everything's all mixed up together so i'm gonna run it through the grinder it's gonna be nice all right that's it i'll be back all right guys now it's time to get grinding make sure you use a really clean meat grinder you don't want to contaminate your meat with any old meat or anything that's in there make sure you also when you're running it through the grinder this is a great time to control the portions of the fat to the dry age to the regular meat use a medium grind that's going to be perfect for making ground beef making hamburgers meatballs and again guys you can use this for more than just hamburgers you can make meatballs meatloaf anything you would use ground beef for it's going to turn out really good adding that dry age to it also when it comes out of the grinder if you notice that you got some clumps of fat or uh, some of the dry age is kind of clumped in one spot you can remix it by hand if you need to so go ahead and do that this is awesome guys make sure you try this don't ever throw out the uh, trimmings from dry aging it's going to work out great all right guys Got my burgers all ready to go. We're going to do some smash burgers with these. I love doing smash burgers. Got my onions, pickles, lettuce, all my other accompaniments ready to go for when these come off the grill. I seasoned it up with the uh, Running Wild's Gourmet Meat Rub. Or meat, yeah, Gourmet Meat Rub. So we're going to go ahead and take these out to the Kamado Joe Classic 2. And I got the soapstone all heated up and ready to go. And we're gonna smash these burgers. All right, let's go outside. All right, guys, our Kamado Joe's up over 500 degrees. Our soapstone is really hot and ready to go. And what you wanna do is get your burger on and you wanna smash it down as much as you can. These are still gonna be kind of thick burgers. These aren't gonna be really thin. I want them kind of thick, but you wanna smash it down so you can get as much surface area on that burger uh, to crisp up as possible. Um, also, you might want to use some parchment paper if you have a real fatty burger like this. I should have done that with these. Um, I ended up going ahead and uh, putting the spatula in the fire to kind of heat it up a little bit so that fat wouldn't stick when I was trying to smash them. Um, you can do that as well. Once you get these things smashed, you don't want to move them around too much. I did it here just so that I could uh, get the rest of those burgers on. And you want to leave these on for a good three to five minutes to get that uh, Maillard reaction on the bottom when the fat starts bubbling up through the top and you can see on the edges that they're starting to get crispy that's the time that you can uh, flip these and you don't want to continue to smash them I was just uh, kind of pushing these down just a little bit just to making sure that they were uh, getting a nice crust on them so once once the uh, fat starts bubbling up through the top and you see the crispy edges on the, around the sides it's time to go ahead and flip those and you see we got a really good crispy surface on that one and then once you flip them over um, you don't need too much more cooking all you want to do is maybe throw your cheese on for and cook it and let it melt for about a minute or so and then you're going to be ready to go so that's it guys let's get these inside put some cheese on them well there you go guys I'm going to go put one of these on a bun and take a bite. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Dry aged smash burger with onions, pickles, cheese. Wow, a crispy crunch of that smash burger. We'll take a bite. It's delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's awesome. You can really taste that uh, dry aged stuff and that crispy crunch of the from being a smash burger mixed with the mayo, the ketchup, the onion, the pickle, cheese. Check it out, guys. Make sure you try this at home. If you're dry aging, don't throw the trimmings out, grind them up, make some nice burgers out of them. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like us, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.